So just how important are plants for filtering your pond? G'day, my name is Kev. The purpose of my channel is to help people build and maintain ponds without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that interests you, please like and subscribe, and check out my website ozponds.com for helpful articles. So believe it or not, but plants actually play quite a minimal role in keeping the water clean and clear. Don't get me wrong, I love having plants in my ponds, but it's not to filter the water. It's more for the aesthetics and the overall ecosystem approach that is my preferred method of pond keeping. I do also have a wholesale plant nursery, so I'm pretty fond of plants in general. What's actually keeping the ponds clean and clear is bacteria, billions of them. These microscopic organisms are constantly working to break down organic compounds in the water like fish waste, fish food, and yes, decaying plants. Now plants can provide some filtration benefits, but it's nowhere near as constant and as dependable as a filter using bacteria. Every type of pond or even an aquarium filter that will keep the water safe for fish is reliant on bacteria. These bacteria process nitrogen and are all around us. They occur naturally. All they need is wet surfaces and some oxygen. Here's some examples. In an aquarium, a sponge filter pulls water through the sponge, which are covered in these nitrogen processing bacteria. An under gravel filter moves water through the substrate to filter the water. Even if you had no water movement at all, these bacteria would still colonise the gravel and any other wet surface in the pond or aquarium. Trickle filters like this one dribble the water over sponges and ceramic noodles that provide surface area for the bacteria to grow on. Canister filters work the same way. They force water through sponges and media that provide area for the bacteria. So the bottom line is all you need is surface area for the bacteria to grow on. <laughs> so now that I've said all that, that's not to say that there is no filtration benefit from plants. First off, by adding plants, you will increase the surface area for bacteria. They'll grow on the roots and the stems of the plants. The plants can also consume some of the nitrogen. Plants can also transport oxygen into the water and substrate, although they only do that during the daytime. But plants just aren't as consistent as the bacteria when it comes to filtering the water. Plants are only effective at removing nitrogen when they're actively growing. Most plants go through a period where they completely shut down or at the very least slow down. So while the plants are growing, they are great. But if you don't remove that growth, it dies off and breaks down within the pond. And that releases that stored nitrogen back into the water. And then it's up to the bacteria to process it anyway. So you basically want more consumers than producers. The bacteria and other microorganisms not only consume and process nutrients and decaying material, they're a food source for small bugs and invertebrates that the fish will then feed on. Whereas the plants are sometimes consumers and then sometimes they're producers. You'll also find that plants within the pond act as a bit of a sediment trap. For this reason, I like to add more plants to the streams and the filters than I do into the pond itself. So provided you have adequate surface area for bacteria, you don't actually need plants to achieve great water quality. However, I still think they make a pond look way better. And when it comes to adding a filter, you don't need to spend much money at all. If you're interested, check out some of my DIY filter videos for cost-effective filters that can achieve crystal clear water. I'll link some of those in the description. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, pop them down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch ya.